Hi, it's Paul here from selfoutforlife.com and in today's video I'm going to cover eight of the 16 Myers-Briggs personality types and I'm going to cover all the ones that start with the introversion the preference. So this is the second video in my three-part video series that covers the Myers-Briggs personality types. So in the first video I talked a little bit about the history and the benefits of knowing your Myers-Briggs personality types and then I covered the four preferences that are like the backbone of the 60 Myers-Briggs personality types. So if you haven't yet watched my first video on the Myers-Briggs personality types then it will appear up here right now or there'll be a link in the description below. So the first Myers-Briggs personality type is called the inspector and the letters for this one are ISTJ. So I is for introversion, S is for sensing, T is for thinking and J is for judging. So the inspector is typically serious, formal, ethical and traditional. They are loyal, dependable, realistic and responsible. These people tend to be very steady and consistent workers. They find it very easy to ignore distractions. They decide logically what needs to be done and like to follow rules and traditions. Now these people can be judgmental and insensitive and may have a tendency to blame other people. Now some of the Myers-Briggs personality types are more common than others and the inspector is the third most common overall representing about 11.6% of the population and also it does vary by gender and this one the inspector is the most common for men at 16.4% and less common for women at only 6.9%. And some of the famous people that have the inspector Myers-Briggs personality type include Henry Ford, Queen Elizabeth, George H.W. Bush and Robert De Niro. So the second one is the crafter and the letters for this one are ISTP. So that's introversion, sensing, thinking and perception. So these people like freedom and they enjoy new experiences, they love variety and also taking action. These people are typically thrill seekers. They like adrenaline sports, hobbies, and even maybe adrenaline filled careers as well. They're quite independent and they like to have the freedom to work on their own terms. Now the crafter doesn't like routine or commitment. So they might struggle with a steady nine to five job, especially if there's not much variety. They're much better, however, at keeping a cool head in a crisis. So they're great in that situation. They also have the ability to think objectively, especially when under pressure, and they typically are self-confident and easygoing. However, sometimes the crafter can ignore their own feelings, so push them inside until those feelings become overwhelming. Now the crafter ISTP personality type represents about 5.4% of the population. It's much more common with men at 8.5% and for women it's 2.3%. Some famous people with this personality type include Tom Cruise, Michael Jordan and Bruce Lee. Next up is the protector which is represented by the letters ISFJ. So that's introversion, sensing, feeling and judging. So these people are typically quite reserved, but they're very reliable, they're practical, they're warm-hearted and they're responsible, and they like to have structure and order. Now the protector is really good at focusing on the needs of other people. They're great at empathizing with other people and understanding their feelings and emotions. However, they often tend to hold their own feelings inside because they don't want to be a burden on other people. Now the protector prefers to learn by doing. They like hands-on experience. They don't like abstract concepts and they also tend to adapt more slowly to change and any big decisions in life, so any big life changes, they will spend a lot of time uh, evaluating and looking at different options before they make that decision. Now, if you're jumping up and down right now and saying, yes, this is me, that's because the protector ISFJ personality type is the most common overall at 13.8%. It's also by far the most common for women at 19.4%. So almost one in five women have the protector Myers-Briggs personality type. 
For men, it's less common, it's 8.1%. So you can see how gender can play quite a big part in these different Myers-Briggs personality types. Now, some of the famous people that have the protector personality type include Mother Teresa, Prince Charles, Tiger Woods, and Beyonce. Now, the next personality type is the artist, and the letters for this one are ISFP. So that's introversion, sensing, feeling, and perception. So these people are typically kind, they're friendly, they're sensitive, they're quite quiet, peaceful, and easygoing. And they're very good at accepting people as they are. They will tend to have fewer friends, but they'll have more meaningful conversations and more meaningful friendships. They're also present moment people, so they won't be regretting the past or worrying about the future. Now, these people like hands-on learning. They dislike abstract concepts unless they can see a practical use for them. And for the artist, beliefs and values are really important to them. And they also like and need personal space. They dislike arguments and conflicts. Now, the artist ISFP Myers-Briggs type is the fourth most common overall representing 8.8% of the population. It's slightly more common in women at 9.9% and for men it's 7.6%. Some famous people with this personality type include David Beckham, Michael Jackson and Brad Pitt. So next up is the advocate represented by the letters INFJ. So that's introversion, intuition, feeling and judging. Now these people are typically creative, idealistic, have very high moral standards and are future focused. They're also deep thinkers. These kind of people will contemplate the meaning of life. And also they're good at turning this deep thinking into action. So these are the kind of people who want to make the world a better place. They are gentle, caring and reserved and are very sensitive to other people's feelings. They enjoy helping others and forging strong, meaningful connections and friendships. However, they do need their own space as well. The advocate has strong beliefs and values and they use those to guide them to bring about positive change. They also act decisively to get what they want and also to get what they believe is right. Now, the advocate can be overly sensitive, stubborn and have high or unrealistic expectations. They also dislike conflict, arguments and confrontation. Now, this is the rarest of all the Myers-Briggs personality types. It represents just 1.5% of the population. Uh, for women, it's 1.6% and for men, it's one2 And famous people with this personality type include Martin Luther King and Peter Gabriel. So the next type is the mediator, and this is represented by the letters INFP. It's introversion, intuition, feeling, and perception. Now, these people have a very strong sense of purpose, and they like to use their talents and their skills and their abilities to make the world a better place. These people tend to really understand themselves and also how they fit into the world. The mediator likes the big picture, they're global thinkers, they find details boring, and their high values drive the decisions that they make. They also tend to be fairly quiet and reserved, and they're more likely to have a few close friends, and they prefer that to large gatherings. The mediator is creative, and they work well on their own, and they're sensitive to other people's feelings. However, they can take things too personally themselves, or become too idealistic. Now, this personality type represents 4.4% of the total population. Uh, for women, it's 4.6% and for men, it's 4.1%. Now, famous people with the mediator personality type include Princess Diana, William Shakespeare, Bob Marley, and Chris Martin. So six down, two more to go. So the next one, number seven, is the architect, represented by the letters INTJ. So that's introversion, intuition, thinking, and judging. Now this one is also known as the strategist, and some of the other Myers-Briggs personality types may have more than one name as well. So if in doubt, just check the four letters, the four letter code, so INTJ in this case. So known as the architect or the strategist, this person is typically analytical and logical. They like to make decisions based on objective information, less likely to make decisions based on emotion or intuition. 
These people are typically self-confident, they're hardworking, and they deal well with criticism. They see criticism as feedback. Now, the architect likes to plan ahead and have a controlled and orderly life. Also, like the mediator, they're typically creative and like the big picture, and they enjoy working alone. They're also good listeners, and they enjoy theoretical and abstract concepts. Now, some of their downsides include perfectionism, being judgmental, and sometimes insensitive. Now, this is one of the rarest Myers-Briggs personality types, representing only 2.1% of the population. It's a little bit more common in men at 3.3%, and for women, it's joint lowest at 0.9% with ENTJ, which I'll cover in the next video. Some famous people with this personality type include Arnold Schwarzenegger, Isaac Newton, and Mark Zuckerberg. So the last Myers-Briggs personality type for this video is the thinker, represented by the letters INTP. So that's introversion, intuition, thinking, and perception. Now, as the name suggests, these people enjoy thinking whether it's thinking about how things work or thinking about how to solve problems and find solutions. They're also abstract thinkers, so they like theory and concepts. However, when they make decisions, they prefer to make decisions based on logic and objective information. These people are very flexible and are very good at out-of-the-box thinking. Now, the thinker doesn't like structure or planning. They're more likely to break the rules when compared with some of the other Myers-Briggs personality types. They also tend to be fairly quiet, they enjoy time alone, and they're more likely to have a few close friends. They can sometimes experience moments of self-doubt and can be insensitive at times as well. About 3.3% of the population have this personality type. It's more common in men at 4.8% and for women it's 1.7%. Some famous thinkers include Albert Einstein, Charles Darwin, and Abraham Lincoln. So this video covered the first eight of the 16 Myers-Briggs personality types, all the ones that started with the introversion preference. Now my next video, and there's a link in the description below to that video, covers the next eight, which all start with the extroversion preference. And also there's a blog post that accompanies this video and the previous and the next video that goes into all the preferences and all 16 Myers-Briggs personality types. So if you wanna check that out, there'll be a link in the description below to that blog post as well. And if you're wondering what Myers-Briggs personality type you are, then I encourage you to do a free Myers-Briggs personality test. Just go to selfhelpforlife.com forward slash Myers-Briggs or it will be the first link in the description below this video. So if you enjoyed this video, do give it a like, give it a thumbs up, and do leave a comment below. I'd love to hear what you think. And if you haven't already, do subscribe to this channel and click the bell notification. That way you will always be notified whenever I release future videos. So I'd like to thank you for taking the time to watch this video, and I look forward to sharing more great content with you very soon. Bye for now.